but uh, there can be uh, an air of disrespect. Um, there can be an air of disrespect for anything in your life that you don't work to get. Um, you know, whether it's uh, you know somebody else paying for your apartment or somebody else owning your apartment or you know living living out from the under your parental thumb for the first time. I think absentee landlordism uh, has something to do with people who don't take care of their house. And you know the house doesn't look as nice. The house doesn't look as nice, so uh, you can't get as much rent for it. You can't get as much rent for it. You get a, a lower, uh, you know, you, you get a lower income family moving in. You get a lower income family moving in. Maybe the students don't want to live there, or the student dollar, you know, or they move. Um, there is a combination of that. There is uh, the city, uh, you know, not doing a, a, a tremendous job, you know, taking care of the neighborhood, uh, you know, patrolling it very well. So, uh, there are other. There are other neighborhoods that house uh, students um, that are, you know, nicer. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say uh, that the, the fact that the students live here uh, is that the area is not nice. And how do you think all these students treat the area? Like they don't live here forever. Like they don't own the property that they live in. Um, like they're not paying for their own housing dollar. Do they vandalize or steal or? Yeah, sure, that happens, but that's not the norm, you know, I, I wouldn't size you up and say, you know, hey, you're a SUNY student, please don't spray paint the front of my building. You know, different people treat it differently, though, you know, you move on to campus, it's supposed to be a, you know, you have the RAs that are watching, okay, you have certain tolerance levels, uh, you have your roommates, all right, but eventually when you move on to campus, you're moving with like-minded people, all right, into uh, an environment, and, and I'll tell you something else, it's combined with the fact that you're also living in a house that's owned by somebody who's running a business. Um, how do you think the students affect the area? Um, you definitely liven it up. So they're not here. It's kind of dead. It's like a ghost town around here. So you see, like, it affects um, business yeah. between, like, the summer and does. the winter business break? Is crazy when the students are here. And then when they're not here, it's kind of, like, really dead. How do you think all the students respect the area? Do you find a lack of respect, or do you find that they do respect? I think they respect the area, not as far as throwing trash everywhere, because they throw everything everywhere, but like, as far as us, like, they do respect the store, they respect the law. I don't really feel threatened by anybody, you don't. but to so, like, which everyone would be more, it'd probably be the Albany residents. Like, the students are, like, they're just pledging, so when they do stupid stuff, it's because they're being told to do that to get into somebody. Yeah, got yeah worse. Albany got better. Because we used to be pretty bad, as far as, like, the local-wise. It, it was pretty really bad, especially when I was in high school. It was bad. It's not as crazy as it used to be. In what way? Eggs and eggs and them jumping out of things and doing all the crazy drugs and stuff. They probably still do it, but it's just not as bad as it used to be.